do not rinse it off do not this is really amazing so we will need big kneading cloves which are very great for our hair they treat dandruff and shines it also contains a chemical that promotes hair growth when applied to the scalp we'll also be using black seed so all kalonji as many people call it so this maintain a clean scalp keep the scalp moisturized and restores shine as well to the hair so all we need is a mason jar you can use whatever you have as a container that you can cover up and put somewhere safe we will also be needing cloves as the main ingredient so you do not have to add the black seed but personally i I love just spicing up my treatments and that is why i added it so these are our pieces of cloves and these are really really good for our hair as you saw previously they really help with adding shine they promote hair growth when um used on the scalp and they also go ahead and uh what we call prevent premature graying of the hair so the second ingredient is this we'll just be using a bit of the black seeds this is what i have or kalonji this is also really really nice when applied to the scalp so this treatment basically will be concentrating on the scalp but i personally will also be using it on my hair as a leave-in treatment so i will not be rinsing it off and you can see the various benefits as to why i will not be rinsing it off so what we do we go ahead and add the cloves to the mason jar as i'm doing there and then we go take our second spice second ingredient which is the black seed as i said we'll just be adding a handful of these i am so sorry i do not have teaspoons i'm using or any measurement spoons that is because i'm an african and we know how we add salt to the food you know you just look and know this quality this quantity is enough yeah i ended up adding a lot more black seed which is fine which is fine i honestly don't mind and then i added up some hot boiled water so you need to boil water separately you don't want to boil this mixture together that is because you still want to preserve the benefits of these two ingredients and you want to make sure that you take out all the nutrients so add a handful of um, hot water boiled hot water as i did and then close it store it for up to 24 hours or um you know for the longest you can minimum being 24 hours so mine ended up staying for around 48 hours because i had something to do the following day i wasn't able to take it out but you can will see in just a short while how amazing this treatment actually looks so here we are after 48 hours and the treatment looks amazing you can see the color has definitely changed everything has infused so well you can see even below that the black seed or rather the cloves have actually changed the color to a bit of white or cream so i'm going to transfer this to my spray bottle yes i know it's old i need to change it i will i promise uh but you can see our water looks amazing this treatment is really really good i've been using it on my daughter's hair and i can't really she really suffers from dry dry scalp and so so this has really helped her out it is keeping her scalp clean and it is amazing that is why i'm here sharing it with you so one thing i say when you apply this to your hair do not rinse it off let it stay just apply it as a leave-in as a moisturizing treatment for you and just seal it seal it do this three to four times a week if i'm in a position i'll actually be doing it on a daily basis but if i don't have time i will commit to four times to three times a week so i'll go ahead and show you guys how i end up spraying and using the treatment on my head so that you can have an idea on how you can use it so here's my hair it is quite dry as you can see i've been having wigs and uh on top of these twists i like having my hair in twists when i'm trying to grow it out because it gives me access to the scalp so it smells amazing as you can see i was trying i was smelling it for you guys so that you can know it doesn't leave bad smells like onions or fermented rice this is really really great so i'm going to spray it all over my scalp concentrate on the scalp more it gets messy it gets messy honestly it's not um a pleasant thing to do you'll have water dripping all over your face all over your body but it is really worth it so i ended up spraying the water on my scalp on my hair and then gently massaging it in we all know that massaging your scalp is good for blood circulation 
which promotes hair growth and that is what you want to do so you are getting maximum benefits by massaging your hair and also by using this treatment to seal it off i'm going to use this ayurvedic hair growth oil um, that i normally use it is mine if you're in kenya i sell this get in touch with me and i'll give you a bottle at a price of course so i'm applying that as well to the scalp and then to the hair and then massaging it in. so that's all you need to do for this treatment and trust me you guys use this and you'll come here and give me the benefits or tell me how it has really improved your hair so if you have used this before please comment below tell us how it was uh, for you and if you're willing to try it out as i said i'm on a challenge six months challenge no heat and just trying out hair growth treatment i'll be showing you guys everything i use so if this is something you want to also use if you use it let us know how it actually worked out for you so if you can see there's a very big difference between how my hair was in the beginning of the video and how it is right now that is because i've given it some moisture you know i've given it some mm, and it's it's just sucking up all the good things from this treatment so guys also don't forget to subscribe please like this video leave me a comment and let me know how you think about this so thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one Bye bye